Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera kembali lagi bersama dengan Elia dalam Hias di episod yang baru dan juga kepada anda di rumah mungkin dah tak sabar-sabar nak tahu apakah topik kita pada hari ini. Of course, Elia akan bawakan kepada anda uh, topik tentang neon and pop of colour fashion. Neon and pop of colour uh, berada di kedudukan teratas pada tahun lepas. Tidak dinafikan segelintir wanita ini tidak ragu-ragu untuk menyarungkan busana warna hijau elektrik, merah jambu, kuning, biru uh, kerana bimbang uh, kelihatan berlebihan berbanding orang sekeliling. Tapi tidak. Ha, namun begitu, tahukah anda pemilihan warna-warna neon sebenarnya membantu untuk menyuntik penampilan tampak fun Funky, muda, elegan, modern dan stylo dan justeri itu uh, jangan gusar untuk menyarungkan jaket berwarna merah jambu ataupun uh, celana berwarna hijau elektrik. Tapi if ada dekat rumah uh, nak tahu lagi uh, yang tengah menonton sekarang ini kita akan bersama dengan expert kita sebentar lagi lah untuk kita untuk kita tahu lebih lagi tentang neon dan juga uh, pop of color. Fashion. Jadi pada hari ini Elia berasa sangat-sangat teruja because Elia ditemani oleh Larissa Pink, our Miss World Malaysia 2018. Nah, selamat datang ke Hias. Dan expert kita of course Smith daripada Tikot. Ah, thank, thank you for you. coming. Bawa model-model sekali. Thank you so much. Dan sebelum Elia nak uh, pergi ke arah expert kita, tunggu sekejap ya Smith. Elia nak bercakap dulu dengan Miss World Malaysia kita which is Larissa Saping. Okey. Elia uh, dua kali dah berjumpa. Tiga kali ke dua kali dapat kira. Because jadual Lari Saping ni sangat-sangat padat dan hari ini bertuah uh, bersama dengan kita dan Elia nak tanyalah semua gadis-gadis di luar sana uh, dan Elia pun nak tahu apakah perasaan menjadi one of uh, Miss World Malaysia. Dah dua tahun eh. Nak masuk tiga tahun dah <laughs> ha, jadi Miss World Malaysia. Tak... Tapi masih rasa sangat bersyukur lah sebab uh -huh. Miss World Malaysia ni bagi platform yang sangat besar uh -huh. untuk Larissa uh, terus memperjuangkan um, advokasi Larissa uh -huh. uh, iaitu untuk membantu kanak-kanak di luar bandar. Uh -huh. So I think that is the main the main thing that I'm very grateful for uh -huh. Miss World. Uh, selain itu, um, selepas Miss World pun saya berpeluang untuk bekerjasama dengan banyak fashion designer, uh -huh. terutamanya fashion designer di Sarawak uh -huh. dan lain-lain lah. Jadi sekarang ni pun Larissa tengah belajar lagi. Uh -huh. um, tapi adalah part time buat modeling, uh -huh. hosting dan sebagainya. So. Dan uh, kita sekarang ni tengah melalui pandemik. Uh -huh. So bagaimana nak menjalani rutin harian sebagai Miss World Malaysia? Kan uh, job kan berkurangan. Yeah, so apa betul. yang Larissa buat? Larissa sekarang ni um, memang gunakan social media Larissa lah uh -huh. dengan sebaik mungkin. Lah. Sebab banyak wanita muda yang tengok uh -huh. Instagram Larissa. Uh, so every day kalau boleh saya akan kongsikan isu-isu yang penting. Uh -huh. Yang positif. Yes, yang positif. Dan kalau sebab sekarang ni banyak yang perlukan bantuan. Yep, kan? betul. Bantuan makanan. Um, ada yang budak-budak yang tak, tak ada data internet. Mm -hmm. So, things like this, Larissa cuba untuk bantu mereka lah. Mm -hmm. um, tak banyak, tapi, tapi boleh lah membantu. Lah, yes. Yes. Sebab sekarang ni, banyak orang kurang awareness. Okay, sekarang ni banyak ramai yang perlukan bantuan. Mm -hmm. uh, ramai yang hilang kerja. Mm -hmm. So, I think this is the right time yang kita jaga kita lah. You know, yes. that hashtag. Betul? Yeah, so, That is the most I can do lah sebagai Miss World Malaysia sebab my platform is taklah besar sangat lah tapi adalah audience and um, I think sekarang ni pun ramai yang nak give up. Hmm. So I try to give them motivation. Ya, yeah. yeah. okay. Dan itu salah sedikit uh, cerita yang kita nak tahu daripada Larissa dan kembali sebentar lagi dan expert kita pula ya. Nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Jangan nervous. Kita berehat sebentar kembali dalam hias. Kembali bersama dengan Elia dalam Hias. Masih lagi ditemani oleh Miss World Malaysia kita. Kita ada Lari Saping dan juga Smith. Yes. Ah, Tadi Elia dah uh, berikan soalan, beberapa soalan kepada Larissa. Dan now Elia nak tanya lah. First thing first dalam fikiran Larissa bila ternampak ataupun terlihat apa rekaan daripada TikTok. 
record sendiri mm-hmm. uh, apa yang mm. uh, anda fikirkan first time at present first outfit um, dia macam streetwear mm-hmm. actually majority of your baju is streetwear kan streetwear, yeah, yeah. yeah so i think dia sangat uh, menarik mm-hmm. and especially dengan pop color mm-hmm. baju-bajunya wow, wow so nice so because <laughs> dalam pageant cerita It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Terus kan. Okay, first pertama kali Larissa pakai baju tikot, um, Larissa pakai streetwear. Uh-huh. Dia macam uh, crop top dengan skirt asalnya yang warna hitam yeah. tu. Ha. Jadi Larissa pakai baju tu untuk uh, Halloween, uh-huh. tapi tak lah sebagai kostum, uh-huh. just something gothic. So I think Um, tikot punya rekaan ni dia very versatile and you can just fit it with any look uh-huh. um, and I love it sebab usually um, dalam pageantry uh-huh. you kena pakai you know suit Betul. Um, evening gown uh-huh. cantik-cantik yes but tak semestinya you know ratu tu perlu pakai macam tu you uh-huh. boleh try whatever style you want uh-huh. so I love the street look lah sebab Larissa ni suka pakai kasut sneaker uh-huh. you know like suka santai uh-huh. so saya suka pakai baju yang selesa. Mm. So streetwear is memang one of my favorites and that's why, that's why you tikot. like yeah. it. Thank oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, it's your turn, okay? Oh. Ah, berdebat tak? Ini soalan SPM. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready for it. <laughs> okay, um, macam biasa kita nak suai kenal dulu lah dengan siapa expert kita. Kan, Ilya baru first time berjumpa tahu melalui media sosial sahaja dan tell us more about you, about your background, macam mana masuk ke industri fashion. Bukan ramai ya uh, lelaki yang Betul? suka dengan fashion. Betul? Oh, okay. Um, I'm very grateful that mm-hmm. I'm the one. <laughs> And, okay. Um, I started fashion is from I think from I'm young. I like to draw. Mm-hmm. So when after I graduate my high school, so went into the uh, uni. The time I was still thinking of interior design or mm-hmm. fashion. By the end, fashion. I chose fashion because the time like not much people like studying that. Mm-hmm. So I think like okay, it's a good chance. So I went to study at Lin Kok Wing. Mm-hmm. To get my diploma. After that, I went to Shanghai to get my further degree. Mm-hmm. And after that, straight away come back. I because it's it's very hard to survive as a fashion designer in Sarawak. Actually, Betul. Yeah. Betul. yeah. So my, I'm very thankful that uh, the first that the first job I de- I, I get is uh, uh, like connecting with fashion is for my brother's movie. Oh. Yeah. So I'm I'm become the stylist there. And that is how I start. And after that, my brother, uh, all his movie, uh, 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 I get involved. Ah. So I get to learn more and more. And after a few years later, so um, I get to open my own bridal shop. It's mm-hmm. called Kylie Bridal, mm-hmm. and also have boutique. And after a few years, it's very very slow. It really really hard to survive. <laughs> yeah, kita so, tahu. Yeah. yeah. So then I. Uh, in between, I still like doing the movie and mm-hmm. also helping my friends, uh, some of the singer of mm-hmm. Malaysia mm-hmm. to like uh, Dr. Winsi Su mm-hmm. and Nicholas Tio. Mm-hmm. Then I help them to do some uh, um, their con- concert styling. Ah. And slowly, slowly, and just recently, I think on 2019, yeah, 2019. So I, me and my friend, we started a company. Is Fashion event company, mm. so we uh, it called Style Series. Yeah, so the Style Series. We do a lot of fashion fashion show, mm-hmm. it's charity fashion show. So what what Style Series we are doing like empowering our own local designer because as a designer mm-hmm. and coaching, yeah. I know it's really hard. Yeah. So like how we help the designer. Mm. So that is how we come out this Style Series mm. charity fashion show. Mm-hmm. So our condition is. Uh, after our fashion show, your clothes had to be uh, sell after mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. and like part of it is go to the charity. Ah, so yeah. the style series menggabungkan ke semua designer designer di Kuching, yeah. dan yeah. rekaan akan dibelikan selepas uh, fashion show. Yes. Adakah yes. semua ada bayar ke macam mana? Yeah, that that is uh, that is why because uh, of course we have bayar mm-hmm. because we have a lot of uh, the guests to come in mm-hmm. and. Uh, why we wanted to uh, ask them to sell because a lot of time the fashion show that we went is like, oh, uh, it's like, yeah, ah, yeah. Kan. we just tengok. 
And after that, like people ask, uh, if we want to buy, mm -mm. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, true. So that is how we come up. And because designer, we need to survive. We need money. Betul. <laughs> yeah. Takkan nak buat je lepas tu, yes. tak ada orang beli kan. Takkan nak nak show je lepas tu. Kan. Yeah. Tak, tak, tak jual. <laughs> so that is how I get into it. And when I have a style series, my founder friend, mm -hmm. they said, I think one of the founders should come out your own collection. Mm -hmm. Because there's, uh, before that, I was having a, uh, because I love to wear t-shirts so much. So, so T-Cod is actually start from a t-shirt, mm -hmm. printing t-shirt. So after that, they say, you should come out your own ready to wear. So that's how T-Cod now have a ready to wear. Ah, yeah. Dan style series juga, kita balik kepada style series tadi tu kan. Uh, bukan sahaja menggabungkan apa designer-designer, menggabungkan model juga di yes. dalam style series, betul? Yes, yes. Ah. We also empower model with search for new new face. Mm. Yeah, like them. Yes. yes. And then you train them. <laughs> yeah, you train them, yeah. Okay, Elia sebenarnya banyak soalan dalam jawapan-jawapan daripada sini. Semua dia dah jawab. Macam mana ni? Macam mana kita nak jawab ni? Ada bagi soalan lagi ni? That's why I said, I have to stop me. Kan? Okay, dulu kita tahu fashion untuk neon ataupun pop of colour selalunya direka untuk sportswear sahaja. Mm -hmm. Tapi kenapa Smith uh, menaikkan lagi taraf neon dan pop of colours sekarang? Okay, first, I love neon colour. Mm -hmm. I love it so much, so much. And at the same time, I love vintage like 80s fashion. Yeah. It's so colourful, it's so neon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why people now cannot wear that? So that's why I empower a bit, try to put every uh, every my clothes that is a, a, a touch of neon, mm. slowly. Yeah. So, so di situlah bermulanya. Yes, yes, ah, yes. Tapi sportswear into fashion yang lebih lagi daripada uh, sportswear. Tapi ada sedikit, apa, uh, Elemen-elemen sportswear in your design. Uh, Ada? Uh, a, a bit, a yes. Bit. That is a bit, yeah. Mm. Because uh, it's not that I love exercise, but I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I've always nampak been for... Nampak lah, boleh nampak lah kat situ. <laughs> but actually, uh, can can we say, talk about, uh, because we actually, we uh, I'm coming out on Okay. New, kita kena stopkan Smith kat situ. <laughs> ah, nanti dia cerita habis. Nanti tak ada lagi soalan Ilya untuk dia. So, kita kembali selepas ini dalam Hias. <laughs> kembali lagi bersama dengan Ilya, Larissa Ping dan juga Smith. Ah, dan kita nak cerita lagi, kita korek lagi rahsia daripada mereka-mereka ini. Dan Ilya nak share dululah info yang Ilya dapatkan ah, berpandukan rekod kenyataan daripada stylecaster.com. Sebelum ini, portal berkenaan berpendapat majoriti uh, jenama Mega yang memilih mengeluarkan koleksi busana berasaskan warna terang dan neon pada tahun lepas which is 2020. Dan bagi Larissa pula, okay, pakaian yang berusulkan neon colour ataupun pop of colour uh, sesuai tak untuk digunakan semasa pageant week? Um, jaranglah kita tengok uh, orang pakai neon. Mm -hmm. Tapi sekarang ni banyak yang nak, you know, they want to fight the stereotype, so they want to be different. So now I think Miss Thailand, Miss Universe Thailand, uh, 2020, mm -hmm. dia pakai neon pink ah. untuk evening gown dia. So it's very, very unique, mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. and striking lah. Biar orang dapat nampak sebab ramai kan contestant, yep. uh, seratus lebih. Um, but then depends dengan cara you design dia juga. Mm. So because uh, neon is a, a very hard color mm -hmm. to, yeah, yeah. to to fit into a lot of things so i think it's also the way you design the the dress the mm -hmm. outfit um but i don't see why not mm, yeah. kan why not tapi mm. mengikut structure body lah kan mm -hmm. uh, kalau bagi larissa sendiri rekaan-rekaan ada pretty coat ini semuanya oversize mm -hmm. okey tak kalau uh, dipentaskan di uh, pentas peragaan uh, untuk pageant week Usually, orang pakai yang lebih proper lah sebab pertandingan ratu cantik kan, mm -hmm. kena elegan. Mm -hmm. um, tapi kalau ada segmen-segmen macam top model ke, uh, yang tu you dapat, you can go outrageous, you know, mm -hmm. with your with, with your ideas, with your style. So it doesn't have to be just prim and proper. Mm. Yeah. So, so I think, boleh lah. Yeah, boleh lah. Tapi ikut 
acara tu. Mm-hmm. Ah, janganlah pakai interview pakai oversize and kan, then neon. Tak nampak neon. pun yeah, so body tu. Dia kena kena sesuai dengan mm. acara tu. So like I said, why not? You know, but um, at the same time you have to know when's the right time to wear it. Mm. Mm. Oversize you dapat stylekan dia buat dia cantik letak belt ke, Betul? Yeah. you know. So it's fine even like like this today. It's dalam ada baju and then outside is oversized and then you can style it whatever mm-hmm. you want ikat tepi ke apa ke so mm. okay uh, dan uh, untuk rekaan-rekaan yang uh, kita perlihatkan sekarang ini uh, adakah uh, ada cerita di sebaliknya ke macam mana setiap designer of course akan mereka something dengan cerita-cerita mereka adakah uh, from your emotions ataupun daripada story you how is it Uh, you mean the the latest yes. this collection? Yeah, this collection. Hmm, this collection. Uh, it just it just happened that one one day mm-hmm. that because it's pandemic time, mm-hmm. so we are all at home. So I just like the the new collection is done. Mm-hmm. So I think it's quite boring. So I start cutting. So now the latest one is like oh like I finished like un- like cut off. Uh huh. So. I uh, this one lah, uh, it just came out. <laughs> yeah, actually, just... knowing you, dia jenis yang memang just sudden buat je, buat yeah. je, you know. Fashion show next week, okay, this week I uh, just do lah. Potong, potong, potong. Tada. Tada <laughs> kan? Yang Larissa pakai ini pun tak ada tak ada background story, just buat je. Mm, but yeah, but sometimes of course we I have a few uh the previous one that mm-hmm. is like got the story behind mm-hmm. and what is the, the yes like or the too. theme. Uh. But this one is the latest one. It just like I think that it's at first I wanted to do a very uh, elegant mm-hmm. oversized thing. Mm-hmm. So and after that, after the pandemic time, I was stuck in the room in my own workshop. So I think that is boring. So I just <laughs> and change it. So now you ask me this one, okay? Is to be continue the clothes uh, to, to be continue. continue. <laughs> yeah. Kan? Uh, dan jom kita apa lihatkan rekaan rekaan daripada Cikot. Jom berdiri berdiri. Tapi ini bukan. <laughs> yang ini je kita perlihatkan sekarang. Uh, yang ini ada outerwear dan dekat dalamnya neon color. Dan is pop pop. Yes. Okay, boleh tak ceritakan uh, cardigan uh, yang ini blazer. Yeah, blazer just shoot. So this one is the like uh, organza oversized mm-hmm. top. So it, um, at first actually want to make like a shirt, mm-hmm. but at the end I think uh, just Alah, make it like a, <laughs> like a like a <laughs> show, like a show like a jacket. So so to um, the inside is also like all is like really really mm. like the thing like i saw it in the other side uh-huh. so i was thinking maybe just try to do something different mm-hmm. just want to be different mm-hmm. only the detail lah. so like so there's like see i just like feel about just cut the hole kan <laughs> elia pun nak tanya cerita ni sebaliknya tu apa kenapa ada hole kat situ no actually last time there is a, i i did a logo here ah. so i don't like it so i just cut it off tapi dapat cantik kan ah uh, uh, the re re ah uh, so is it a pocket no no the pocket is okay, here okay it's just a hole mm. actually before that it's a logo <laughs> and it's just like that's why i say with pandemic time it's like mm. nothing to do when you yes. see your own collection you you keep on thinking to change betul yeah dan daripada ini rekaan this untuk jejaka jejaka di luar sana yeah this one is like two 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 shirt mm-hmm. and it's also like uh, you can uh, you can wear it separately Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is the. Uh, you can. That's why I say I like oversized. Mm-hmm. So you can miss a match. Miss a match. Betul. Yeah. It can be a two piece. It can be a one piece. And the back is like a cut off. Ah. Uh, with my own logo. Logo. So maybe you can take out to have a look on the the white. It's just a very actually it's just a very simple white top on it. Mhm. Yeah. It's just oh, a very okay. simple white yeah. So is uh, adakah color ini yeah. you punya signature? Yes. Sebab semua je dia nampak warna It's green ni. The the neon, yeah, ha, neon the neon green. green neon yellow, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So there is um there is why this this all the new collection come out now is become like 
potong-potong. Uh, potong-potong sahaja <laughs> dan you boleh pakaikan dia. So, okay, maybe this team can be called the COVID. <laughs> the COVID-19 team. Uh, ada apa-apa lagi tak Larissa nak tanya dengan T-Code ini? Eh, T-Code pula Smith. <laughs> ini adalah your moment nak tanya. Ada oh. tak soalan? Oh, soalan siaplah. Soalan Smith. Hmm. What is your plan? Like your next collection. Ah. How, how, let's say COVID is good. over. I'm sure you want to return with like a a bang, you know. So what? What is? Elia dah stand by, dah stand by. Kau phone ni sebab apa? What are you planning? <laughs> uh, um, I, actually now I already start uh, with uh, ah. one of our model to he <laughs> here to to come up a new uh, spot way. Mm. Yeah. So now it's still in progress, and also uh, hopefully it's. Is is neon color ah, spot. Okay, kita nak tanya dengan model kita ni lah kan. Uh, daripada modeling terus menjadi apa uh, rakan kolaborasi bersama dengan Smith. Apakah perasaan anda? Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. So actually, I like exercise. I since I exercise already like nine years already. So I maybe mm-hmm. I inspire him to bring it up this collection. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then. Yeah, the the new collection that we uh, collaborate is mm-hmm. our names, the T code. So it's T C and my name's nickname is Easy. Ah. So it came to T C E Z. Oh. Okay. So yeah, uh, we we'll announce the collections soon as soon as possible, lah. Mm-hmm. And then I myself, I like neon color as well. So actually the same color. Ah, oh, same you know? color. <laughs> yeah. Good match. Then, yeah. Good, yeah, good match. And then uh, we have a same minds and mm-hmm. uh, what we like the colors. Mm-hmm. Then I go to like my, I read my cards with. Neon color as well. So oh, kalau kita yeah, tahu lalu. See. So ah. right now people, everyone see the neon color as me and mm. Smith. You know? Ah, yeah. kan. Itu adalah signature, signature. mereka. Yeah, Tetapi yeah. nanti akan keluarkan sportswear. Kita kena tunggu lah. Ah. <laughs> Dan guys, thank you so much kerana hadir untuk Sama. hias pada hari ini. Ada tak a uh, few apa kata-kata kepada penonton di rumah yang takut nak pakai neon color? Uh, I think. You wear bright color, is is very very happy. Mm-hmm. Just wear, bring bring. What what do you think of fashion? If neon, if you like hot pink, hot orange, <laughs> yellow, just wear. And it, when you wear out, and you make yourself happy, mm-hmm. and you make people happy, because color bring you happiness and good luck. Yes, That's betul. What I think. Yes. Dan Larissa, anything nak kata kepada penonton di rumah, gadis gadis yang ingin ajar di macam Larissa lah. Uh, how? Um, I think. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, I think fashion. When it comes to fashion, um, anything can look good as long you're confident. That yes. is yes. that is the weapon to look good in any any outfit. So, <laughs> walaupun baju you you know oversized ke, mm-hmm. it's not trend ke. Mm-hmm. Tak apa, asalkan kau confident. Maybe you can start the trend. Yes, ah, why not? Can why not? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much kepada tetamu Elia uh, dan kepada anda di rumah. Mungkin topik ini membantu anda sedikit sebanyak tentang cara pemakaian neon colors uh, ataupun pop of fashion. Jadi kepada anda yang nak uh, berikan sebarang, uh, sebarang cadangan komen, anda boleh email terus ke kami at wanita@tvstv.my. Kita jumpa lagi. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.